Hello everybody, this is Pradyan and I have come back with another video which is about Mercator projection. This is a simple explanation which includes almost all important details. So let's get into the explanation. What is Mercator projection? Mercator projection is the flat 2D representation of cylindrical or spherical objects. It was first introduced in the year 1569 by Flemish cartographer and geographer Gerardus Mercator. This is Gerardus Mercator. What are, where is it commonly used? Mercator projection was used to form the world map. It is very useful as it guides sailors and voyages as it represents the real map on a straight path in reaching their destination. It is also used by most educational institutions as it is a flat representation, easy to explain and much faster to use than a globe. What is the importance of Mercator projection? Mercator projection helps people understand the world map clearly and also plays a major role in geography. Mercator projection was the principle used for creating the world map. But there is a small problem here. The only problem with Mercator projection is that it doesn't represent the actual size of objects in it. Let me explain. When a cylindrical or circular object is flattened out, it's still going to have curved edges. In order to make a rectangular or a square shaped structure, we have to expand the curved edges, thus making them larger and longer. This expansion also distorts the sizes of countries as the latitude from the equator increases. So let's take the example of a world map. So in the first picture, you can see when the earth is flattened on a piece of paper. In the second picture, in order to get a flat rectangular map, we have to extend the edges, which is also marked with the arrows. And in the third picture, we get the result. Once the expansion is done, this is how it's going to look. Let's take another example, the Antarctic expansion. In the left picture, you can see how Antarctica looks in the world map, which is how it looks through Mercator projection. But on the right image, you can see how Antarctica looks from the South Pole. So do you see the difference? The distortion. At first, this distortion is not that easily noticeable. Countries near the equator have the same size as they are in a circular map. But countries which are the farthest from the equator, near the poles, are expanded and appear to be larger than they actually are. Conclusion Mercator projection is a great principle which has helped a lot of people till now and will still help people in the coming generations.
Its contribution in geography is unmatchable.